So guys, this is future um, Quentin here um, from the beginning. Now I forgot to show you size comparisons, so let me do that real quick, and then we can end the video there. So guys, um, the first size comparison is going to be him next to Vision. Here's him next to Vision. Let me get you a little bit closer. Yeah. Uh, let me focus. So basically, um. The figure scales are pretty low. It's short is shorter than Vision, and I'm pretty sure Quicksilver is shorter than Vision, so yeah. Here's him scaled up with Wanda, and he looks pretty, you know, he's supposed to be taller than Wanda because she's the younger twin. So yeah. It's pretty low. So it's pretty cool. So yeah. Next size comparison. Here's him next to Retro Collection Spider-Man. Now, I'm pretty sure Adult Spider-Man's uh, the adult Spider-Man, I'm pretty sure Pietro is a adult, but in X-Men Evolutions, he's a kid. But I don't mean, I never really seen Quicksilver next to Spider-Man, so I don't know if he's supposed to be shorter or taller. But yeah, get him out of here. So the next of the size comparisons are going to be him next to some other customs I've made. Here's him next to a custom Hellboy I made. Now, I haven't made a custom review figure of this. Now, guys, if you guys want me to, you can go in the comments and ask. But yeah, so the next custom. Here's Pietro next to another custom um, action figure from the X-Men. Now, this is a figure that I made from scratch from, a cus from, from clay a couple years ago. Out of, you know, full-on Corolla clay for my Marvel Legends. Now, this is a um, custom Psylocke figure. I mean, Warlock figure from New Mutants. So let me show you him a little bit close up. Now, he's extremely more tall. I think he's pretty much the tallest figure in my collection. This isn't a Marvel Legend that I made from scratch. Uh, that I made a custom of. Now, all of this is wire and Corolla clay. And, you know, a bronze silver sharpie and a black sharpie to paint the black, you know, base of it. Now I used, you know, the uh, skinny design of it for this for this custom. So yeah, I used bronze wire for the fingers too, and they're posable. So yeah, guys, get them out of here. Now another custom, my custom Ultimate Spider-Man figure. Now I never really made a custom. Uh, I mean, I actually I did make a custom review of this. I never said. This would be my Ultimate Spider-Man custom, but yet again, I already have a classic Retro Collection Spider-Man because I've been looking for this, and I made this custom way before I got this figure. So yeah, I just want to make that figure to, you know, keep me whole until I get this figure from pre-order. So yeah. Actually, I didn't get this figure from pre-order. My cousin bought this figure for me for my Christmas. So yeah. So basically, there's Ultimate Spider-Man. I love Ultimate Spider-Man's design because I like... I love younger Spider-Man when he's in, you know, high school and all that other stuff. And I love when Spider-Man's, you know, has those big, you know, huge eyes. Those iconic big, you know, eyes. Or lenses. So, yeah. Now, if you want to know more about how I made this figure, you can go, like, in the deep, dark, you know, crevices of my channel. And you can eventually find... Because I made a figure... I made a figure review on this figure, like, a long time ago. So yeah, you can go check out that video. See you guys later. Bye. And this is the end of the scale comparison. Now, the next video on my customs I'm going to be uploading is another what if. And also, I will be uploading uh, a couple days uh, later. And probably next week. Or the next next week. Mm, yeah. Or probably this. Um, probably this week. Wednesday or this um, Tuesday, I'm going to be uploading a custom Thor figure now. This is actually an old um, custom Hellboy I made. Now, this Hellboy custom I made was on TikTok, but also I, I you know, I put, um, what was it, work in progress pictures of my newer, more articulated, more cooler looking Hellboy based off the 2019 uh, Hellboy and also based off, you know, the comic book cowboy at the same time. So yeah. So I will be turning this into a Thor using the old man Hulk guy 
head sculpt. So yeah. See you guys later. Bye. Two suits and as always, if you're new, subscribe and and as always again, have a blessed day. Hey guys, so if you've seen the title, this is my custom Quicksilver action figure that I've made. Now, I made this about a week ago, right after episode 6, I mean right after episode 5 of WandaVision. Because I am a huge fan of Quicksilver, not a huge fan, I'm more of like a huge fan for Spider-Man and all other heroes like that. But yeah, so, one of my favorite speedsters... Uh, other than the Flash and Kid Flash is Quicksilver, and sometimes Speed. I did. I actually did not know the character Speed at all until people on YouTube explained, you know, them to you know the whole tire cold whole tire people. Uh, what was it? Oh yeah, on YouTube, I did not know who Speed was. I just thought Speed was like Quicksilver in a different costume, basically. It was Wanda's son, Speed. Now, Magic, I don't like Magic at all. Don't even like him. Um, he's not an interesting character to me. I'm more or less like... Um, I like more of a Speedster type of character in the, MC in the MCU. So, yeah. So, basically, guys, this is my custom Quicksilver. Now, this Quicksilver takes, you know, takes some, you know, design and pretty much... Uh, color and design. It takes the colors and the design of different Quicksilver costumes. Now, the tech pattern. Let me bring them up real quick. Oh man, let me make this guy stand. Ah, oh, jeez. So guys, um, let me get a closer look to my custom Quicksilver. Now, Quicksilver has a couple, you know, different changes in the original suit. Now, I use the black pants style from a certain part of artwork, artwork that was shown on Quicksilver on uh, Google, it's the same picture that is shown in the beginning of the, you know, uh, video that I showed you. Now the second picture I showed you, it took, um, I took the sash and the light blue top, or the darkish blue top. Now I mixed both of these paints for the blue part of the the blue parts of the uh, Quicksilver. Now, I used these acrylic color paints. So yeah, I used a light blue and a dark blue. I thought the dark blue was gonna be a lot more darker, but when I put it on the, you know, because I put the I put this blue down here. Now this black is actually oh sorry, this black is actually a really really dark blue. I matched. Uh, a certain amount of, uh, so I've matched like, um, pretty much a good amount of blue with this acrylic paint black together to make a darkish midnight blue that looks more like a black than blue. So, yeah. And also, uh, me, okay. So, also, um, I used the light blue and mixed it with the dark blue to make the top half because I was originally going to paint this top part. Uh, light blue, but I thought it would be a little bit too cartoony or comic book like. So I try to make it kind of MCU, but also comic book, and merge it together. So basically, the sash I know it's a different like the sash goes that way, but I just think it was more you know cooler this way. So the haircut, basically the head came from a a Disney exclusive Wolverine. This figure right here, I took the head from this figure and put it on here because it had you know that. Quicksilverish, or you know that pointy hairstyle. So basically, I painted it white, and the eyebrows I just made them a little bit more, you know, neutral, so they won't be so angry. Now it had an angry expression, but like the skin tone's a little bit, a lot more different and a lot more, you know, because the skin tone obviously doesn't look like that skin tone that much. So for the skin tone for this figure that I made, I use this uh, acrylic paint brown or a light brownish, like a red skin tone, and I mixed it with a egg paint, and 
I it was a pretty good success. First, I did use the first coat of paint for the face, the skin tone. I used this with white paint, and it did not do good that much. It just looked too... It didn't look nothing like Quicksilver skin tone, so yeah. So basically, I used the egg because it looked more like a whitish color, like a whitish skin tone, like Asian, I think. Yeah, Asian skin tone. And I made it a little bit more darker and a lot more, you know, white. Um, this sound right, but yeah. So basically, yeah. So, oh, sorry guys, sorry, sorry for cutting the music. So basically, a uh, Quicksilver had all the. Uh, now, I have no accessories for this figure. Sorry, guys. I have no accessories for this figure. I didn't make a speed accessory because I made this figure like uh, two days ago. So, I didn't have time to make accessories. Now, guys, I will be uploading part two of this figure showing the accessories I made for this figure. Now, accessories I made for this figure, I'm going to be making a speed effect accessory to, you know, fisted hands and... That's basically it, because Quicksilver doesn't have any weapons or anything like that. Maybe I can make, like, an effect of him, you know, dropping guns after he took him from, you know, soldiers or something. But, yeah. So, basically, this Quicksilver took elements from the tech design of Quicksilver. It did not take any, you know, any... Obviously, it did not take any, um, inspiration or, you know, inspiration from the purple style or the green suit of Quicksilver. Now the top blue part and the sash and the hairstyle came from the classic uh, blue black underwear and pretty much the pretty much on um, the first art it had black pants or something but for the undies uh, you know originally Quicksilver had black underwear on the outside I just enlonged that and turned it into pants. Now the side of it is a silver line Taking, you know, uh, pretty much homage to the Age of Ultron Quicksilver because he had, like, those lines up his pants. Now, for the arms, it was pretty simple, nonetheless. I just, down to the, um... Sorry, guys. Focus, focus. Focus. No, I used a extra storm hand for the opened hand. If you have a storm figure, you know that hand. Now, if this Quicksilver does get outdated, I'm probably gonna take this hand, paint it black, and give it back to you know Quick Storm. But for now, it's for Quicksilver. Now the arm. Now, this originally, this original body was based off of the Figma female body blank mode. So basically, to make it tall enough, I pit um a I pit. Well, I used. Let me get my supply. I used this painter's tape and put it around the arm. Put wire between it so it would elongate and also give it, you know. Articulation as well, more articulation actually. That didn't have to, you know, depend on the figure. So basically, the articulation was like really, you know, exceeded and also very better. And it looked more like a clothing. So yeah. And I just feel like the female arm, the female female body, had like really short arms. So yeah, I just elongated it. Now, female hands actually fit very good in Figma joints on the hand parts. So, yeah, if you just have to move the peg, the peg that the hands fit in and put, fig, and put Marvel Legends female hands in them, then they work pretty well. So, yeah, this Quicksilver, I mainly made it for my Wanda and my Avengers shelf. And I actually did do a little homage. I put a little black X right there for X-Men. I put a bunch of X and silver blue patterns back here. And the silver blue for the legs and the knuckles and tips of the fingers of and like the shading on the white parts of the suit were from this silver blue uh, Sharpie. So yeah. And also the collar of the neck too. Now for the dark blue parts, like right here on the chest, I used a dark blue marker right right here 
So yeah. So for the head, you like I used, I just told you the head came from this figure. I just painted it white, and I painted it white and white and white over codes and codes of codes of paint. And eventually, I glossed it over with a glosser paint, and it's, it has a really good texture to it, very smooth. It's very shiny, and it looks very good in camera. Looks very good in camera. Now, the eyebrows are black because I didn't want to mess up, you know, painting away the blue eyes. Now, obviously, this Wolverine figure had didn't have blue eyes; it had brown eyes. So I didn't, I wasn't, I didn't have, you know, a sharp enough paintbrush to paint the blue side, the brown side of the eyes, blue. So I just painted the whole entire pupil blue, and it looks pretty good, nonetheless. Now, I did get flesh paint into the teeth, but I just painted it with a, a slightly sharper paintbrush and made it, you know, made the teeth white. Now, now why you're probably wondering why it looks so bluish in some areas. You're probably wondering that mark. That mark is from, you know, because this Wolverine head originally had sideburns, and Quicksilver doesn't have sideburns, at least I think so. So, yeah. So, the hairline I just used... Um, the black sharpie yet again, put it at the back, and it looked pretty good. So yeah. Now the head, I think I put. I think this is actually the best head paint, repaint or painting I've ever done to any of my figures. Now that we attached this head, I used the nick on the Figma female body too short, so I used a. I used you know I just wrapped around a bunch, a bunch, a bunch. Over and over, um, I just wrapped a you know a whole tire stick, uh, thick enough to look like an action figure natural Nick, for a Figma body, uh, to put a wire through it and put a wire into the stump of the body, hot glued it and it worked pretty well. Hot glued inside the head of this and put the wire in there. The wire ever broke, I could just take the wire out of it, re-glue it, bada bing bada pow, it'd be very perfect. So yeah. Now, this is actually a different shade of skin tone, but it does match with it enough to, you know, blend in with it. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, that's enough for the head and the shoulder. Now, the feet, the same, you know, the same thing with the arms. I pit wire in between the joints that elongate the legs and pit black painter's tape. I mean, pit pit actually pit the thing the same painter tape on here and painted it black and the leg articulation is pretty well it's pretty good now i use the um toe toe um articulation feet for this figure so you know because quicksilver obviously is a, in a lot of running poses so yeah so i want to give him toe articulation now, it's no calf swivel, obviously, because it's a favorite body, but, yeah. So, for the feet, it took inspiration from the tech design of Quicksilver. Oh, sorry, the tech design of Quicksilver. So, yeah. So, for the whole tire, um, what should I call it? For the... Yeah, it still used the same silver sharpie for the feet. And the bottom of the feet as well. Now, I actually, I my original plan was to take a sharp black paint brush and paint, take a picture of a bottom of a Nike shoe and try to paint as well as I can to mimic the pattern of the Nike shoe. I probably still will do that on this if I get like a sharp, fine tipped sharpie. But for now, I just paint the whole tire back of it, the whole tire um, bottom of the feet blue silver. So yeah. Or colored it more or less because it's a sharpie. So, yeah. So for the hands here, I used the same. I used the extra hand from my custom uh, Spider-Man, but originally his hand came from a what should we call it a um, blue a blue um, doctor gloved hand from uh, what was it Night Nurse from the Luke Cage two pack. So yeah. So, yeah, so the, it has butterfly joint, or more or less it doesn't have butterfly joints, it has a ball joint at the top, and I just plug it in, so yeah, pretty good figure nonetheless. Now, I painted the sash into a gloss paint, and the 
feet and the hands and the feet as well in a gloss paint. So yeah, and the face as well in a gloss paint. So for the back, I already explained the black. The back of the, the back of the belt, I put you know a little bit of a tech design back here. Nothing really special on the back. Now the top of the boots put silver paint there to you know divide it from the you know black again on the edges the top of the you know gloves and I put lines right here I look pretty good for the belt so inside of it just put you know black mark here blue chest here and pretty much all together this figure really turned out really well because I really love this Quicksilver, and I think I did a pretty good job on it. So guys, I highly ask this, but do a thumbs up for this video if you like the custom. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If this was able to, you know, help you, expi inspire you to make your own customs. See you guys later. Bye. Deuces.